I am Joost from BiteMyBun.com and today I want to look at the Filipino Bulalo recipe with beef shank and cabbage. During the rainy days in the Philippines when the wind produces cold breeze, there is this one dish that people long for to soothe the chilly rainy weather and that is the delicious Bulalo. Today we will be making this delicious recipe. Now the secret to the hearty flavor of a Bulalo recipe is slow cooking the beef bones with yellow corn on the cob, pechai leaves, peppercorns and cabbage. Some old folks in the Philippines still use wood fired pots when simmering and tenderizing beef bones, but a large stock pot would do just fine for this recipe. The best part of the beef is the shin bone with marrow and the leg meat. So let's get into the recipe. The ingredients are 1 kilo of beef shank with bone and marrow, cut into large chunks. One small head of cabbage and a quarter. A quarter kilo of Chinese cabbage, pechai with whole leaves. Two potatoes quartered. One onion sliced. Four cloves of garlic crushed. Two cups of corn in halves. 3 quarters of a tablespoon of peppercorns, salt to taste and some fish sauce and also a lemon or 5 calamansi to add for extra flavor. Now fry the potatoes in 3 minutes to get a slight crispy layer on top and then set them aside. In a stock pot stew the beef shank with bone and marrow with salt, onions, peppercorns and garlic for at least 1.5 hours. Now remove the meat from the marrow after 10 minutes or it will dissolve into the broth. For easy access to the bone marrow when eating and for a more appetizing food presentation there are available machine cut beef bones or beef shank. It is essential to remove the marrow from the bones right after the first boil, after about 10 minutes or so putting on the stock pot or the marrow will just melt away and will mix into the boiling broth and that's not what you want. Remove the scum that rises above the soup. Add more hot water if necessary. Now when the beef is fork tender, add in the potato and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Then add the corn and let it cook for the last 5 minutes. Then add the cabbage and the Chinese cabbage and let it stand for a few minutes. Then season with fish sauce according to your taste. Remove it from the fire and serve hot in a bowl with the broth mixture consisting of the fish sauce and add some lemon juice to taste. You can eat it with some rice for a more complete meal. Now boiling the bulalo slowly and gently over low heat brings out the flavor of the meat and keeps the meat very tender. But if you don't have time and you want to expedite the cooking process, use your pressure cooker to soften the meat and then later add in the extra ingredients. You want to serve the marrow by placing it back inside the cavities of the beef bones right before serving. Or it could be also be served on a separate plate or just added to the broth with the other meat in the serving bowl afterwards. Place the beef shanks on individual bowls and then pour in the hot bulalo broth with the cabbage over it. You can use corn or onion leeks as a garnish. Bulalo is also eaten with the condiments just like how any Filipino would normally eat it and maybe a side of rice. The best condiments for bulalo is a mixture of freshly squeezed calamansi juice, patis and maybe even soy sauce and some red chili peppers.
Hello, mensen. I hope this video has helped you with your cooking. I have another great video for you about which is healthier, rice or noodles. You can check that out over here as well. Also subscribe to hear more from us at bitemybun.com or search Google for bitemybun for all of our information on this topic. I've been Joost, your host, and thanks so much for watching.